Hey guys, and welcome to another process video. <laughs> Finally, um, this is not using the scrapper kits from the scrapper kit club, believe it or not. These are actually my own personal products on wait for it 12 by 12 layouts. <laughs> I know, um, you've seen a lot of my layouts done, uh, project lifestyle. But for the sake of the business, I've decided to get back into 12 by 12 scrapbooking. And these are just two of the layouts that I have been playing with um, the last couple of weeks. I did make them at a crop night and so I didn't get to film the first one here. But I just thought I would show you what I did. <laughs> so the first one, basically, I wanted to play with my watercolors. I've seen so many people do layouts with watercolors. The photo... Is a little bit crappy I don't know what happened to it but it got stuff stuck on it and it's really not the best photo but it's still a photo of my beautiful little kitty cat Pip our new little baby um, I don't know why I'm pointing at all this but that cutout is our Wilna Furstenberg cutout and I love her stuff and you'll be seeing a lot more of her stuff on my layouts because they're just amazing but um, with the watercolor I wanted to make it a little bit lighter and I also added over the top these uh, daubers I thought they were ink but they ended up being acrylic paint so it didn't really work the best but anyway whatever um, I really loved this pastel orchid color and it was one of the first pieces of paper that I bought um, I think it's a studio calico lemon lush paper and that was the whole inspiration for that layout. Anyway, this is another layout that I was doing of my delightful fiance, Josh. Um, you can meet him now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I started this at the end of the crop night and I really didn't get it finished and I had no, uh, I left it for a couple of weeks before I even thought about starting it again. And I was actually doing this from a sketch for a challenge on another shop, believe it or not. Um, and I was really inspired by the, by the sketch. And so I wanted to sort of play around with it. I really loved how it came out actually. I focused mainly on whites and neutral grays with that splash of black in the background, a few black highlights on the page. Here I am just streaming through my phone looking for that sketch, I have no idea while I was waiting for the mist to dry, obviously, but the mist just didn't seem to, I wasn't spraying it in the right direction, even when I was making the marks on the page, it still didn't seem to go where I wanted to go, and it just got covered up all the time, so you don't see a lot of that in the end, because I end up using a few big chunks of paper. But um, yeah, my big strong man Josh loves white doilies. <laughs> not he actually really disliked this photo <laughs> we took them when we were uh, we took photos of our brand new glasses and he just happened to pull his face and I got it yay so I um I love this photo and it's actually my pro Jack life album and now it's on a scrapbook page by itself but I just wanted to keep it neutral and those white doilies fitted in so well um, totally different to what this photo is saying he is a guy uh, and trying to be a tough guy but he's, he's not he's a real sweetie <laughs> but I just felt like softening it up with some light colors now so I just I mean I'm not gonna tell you what I do with each bit like I obviously cut the doily in half and split it into two areas and I'm making clusters of embellishments you can see that on the video <laughs> very easily um, but I did try and add a bit of color in there on the side. You can see yellow and blue, but it just didn't help working for me. I ended up going very simple with grays and blacks, and I think I threw in a little bit of gold in the end. But yeah, I had I got these um, triangle studs from the Styleboard collection, and I really love them. But I have no way of getting them in the page without them buckling, so I really had a hard time with that especially through a couple of layers of paper like I have here, but I ended up just folding them down and sticking it on with a bit of adhesive. And for some reason I had trouble with my pen. I never have trouble with this Signo pen. It writes beautifully, especially on these chalkboard stickers, but it didn't work this time. Now I put that piece of grey 
um, Studio Calico, I think it's Wonderlust paper. And I don't know why I did that, because it's so patterny and I wanted to put journaling there. As you can see, I put journaling there, but it was such a long time. Oh my god, this, no joke, between that last clip and this one, it was like a week, at least a week before I got back to finish off the actual layout. I added a few more bits and pieces, stars and embellishments and tags and everything, including a title. I used three different types of letter stickers and a few label stickers, like the word stickers, on this page. I actually really love how it turned out. Excuse my yawning. So they're my two layouts. <laughs> One very bright, colourful, girly layout and one frilly, masculine page. <laughs> That's about as masculine as I get, unfortunately. But um, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this process video. Bye!